Hello, David Webb here. A few weeks ago, I posted a drawing on my website for kids and adults to have a go at. It proved quite popular at the time, and so I thought I'd try something else. The one I did before was a picture of a cat. But this time I thought I'd do something completely different, and I'm doing a picture of an octopus. For this project, you need a sheet of A4 paper, a pencil, an eraser, a ruler, and some colouring pencils. And this time, also different, this one's on video. But, as before, I've put a couple of worksheets on my website, which you can download. And my website is www.davidwebart.co.uk And here are the two PDF files which you can download from my website. First, we need to draw a grid. I draw a line 15 millimetres from each edge and then draw a grid six squares wide by nine squares deep. Each box is 30 millimetres square. I label A to F along the top and the bottom and one to nine down the sides. Now we need to transfer the outline of the octopus in the grid on our printout to the grid that we've just drawn. Now using the printout of the octopus and grid, I carefully copy what I see in each square into the new grid that we've just drawn. When you reach the final square, you should find that you've got an exact copy of the drawing of the octopus. If you find the drawing a little bit too difficult, then just use the printout of the outline and colour that in instead. Once you've finished your octopus drawing, you can rub out those guidelines with a pencil eraser. If you find that you accidentally rub out some of your drawing, just go over it again with a pencil. When you're drawing something and you've got to be shading it in too, it's always important to know where the light's coming from. In the top left hand corner, I draw a little diagram of a sun with an arrow, just to remind me of the light direction. I can rub this out when the project is finished. Now it's time to add some colour. To achieve the overall greenish colour of the octopus, I use combinations of brown, green and yellow and build the colour up in layers. For the shadows, I use cooler colours such as blues and purples and this helps to give us more three-dimensional effect as you can see on the tentacles here. Now I start to do some work on the eye. I begin by shading with a yellow pencil and then I add a layer of green over the top. Now I start to use some base colour over the head. I start with yellow and then I add some green over the top and in places in the shady areas I add some blue.
This is an egg. You know this. Why am I showing you an egg? Well, an egg is roughly the same shape as an octopus's head. And just like in our octopus drawing, the light on the egg is falling from above and slightly to the left, which makes it easier for us to see where the shadows are going to be. And that helps us when it comes to shading the octopus's head. And so I use blues and purples to build up the shadows to create that rounded effect, which gives us depth. I put in a shadow underneath where that tentacle crosses over the head and you can see how effective that looks. Now I start to build up shadows and detail around the eye. Once I've done this, I continue to build up colour and shadow on the rest of the octopus drawing. The tentacles towards the back of the octopus have more blue and purple added to the shadows, which gives the impression that they're further away. The suckers on an octopus's tentacle are ringed with a dark outline, and I use a dark brown pencil to do this. For the middle of the sucker, I use purple to create that little circular shadow shape. The suckers stand out from the tentacle, so I use the same colour, purple, to create the shadows around those, which makes them look more three-dimensional. Well, we're almost finished now. Just a few more things, as you probably know. An octopus can change its colour and its patterns as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some spots on our octopus.
Well, that's the end of this edition of A4Art. I hope you enjoyed uh, drawing that octopus. I had some fun with it, and I'll see you next time.